Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to this place. Sony's, or Marvel's Spider-Man, it's only PlayStation 4. Last time we finished up over here in Central Park and Upper East Side. There was a uh, actual side mission in Upper East Side, so that was nice. And then over here we just had thugs and backpacks and landmarks, and actually part of the side mission too, so, oh well, cool. And we got ourselves more secret uh, photo ops, so we're doing pretty good on those. And now we're finally going to go deal with Aunt May over at the Chinatown... Uh, feast center I th I don't know if they've I don't know if they've told us that yet but yeah that's the feast center where Aunt May works so there we go and if they haven't told us about it yet well we'll find out in the next like three minutes here so yeah might as well just go there on screen because well, one we don't have fast travel and two it's not gonna take that long to get here with our mobility boosts so we're good if I can zip to the right point that'd be great Motherfucker. Ah. Sometimes you don't zip to right exactly where you're trying to go. But you know what? That's okay. We can deal with that. The important thing is we're not fighting in Central Park anymore. So we can actually use uh, sticking people to walls as a strategy again. So that's very nice. I'm kind of surprised we got so many J. Jonah Jameson editorials out there in our little side mission spree. We got like, what, three of them? I wasn't thinking there was that many. I know, there, I know there's some specific points throughout the story when you get to certain missions and such like that, or after certain missions or whatever, but I wasn't thinking there was that many little random ones. There's a couple for sure that I remember that I really like. And I think all those are at least a little further along in the story. That eh, didn't work. That was too far away. Sometimes it seems like the web zip really goes pretty far, and sometimes it seems like it should go a little bit further when you're swinging. Uh, then again, I guess when you're swinging, it's, it's, things might seem closer or further away because of how fast you're moving, so that could always be it. There we go. Right over here. And let's head in through the roof, because why not? Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. Well, let's check in on that. Uh, I wonder if that one lady we sent over here is here. Done. Oh, wait. No, that's not you. Not done. You have a different, right. you have a different voice for one. I'm sure she's around here somewhere, Hi, but we'll figure it out. And yeah, Peter volunteers here a lot, so everyone knows him. Everyone likes him. And surprisingly, he's not Volunteer of the Week. Actually, not surprisingly, because he has an actual job, and he probably doesn't uh, spend as much time here as he likes. Because, you know, he's out spider manning and stuff. There's some news. That cute social worker was here again today. These guys are playing chess. Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How does it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. And your dreams, crazy lady. Want a game, Pete? We play for peanuts. No, no, no. Too rich for my blood. I'll leave you to it. They still have the spirit of competition, and I love it. Where is this lady? I thought she showed up. Actually, I don't know if she does show up. <clears throat> and if she does, I don't know where she is. Your aunt's in the back, I think. Thanks. All right, we'll go talk to her momentarily. Don't worry. This place is kind of crowded at capacity, but hey, at least these guys have a place to sleep instead of, you know, out on the street, so that's nice. May hmm. kept Uncle Ben's clothes a long time. It's like he was still looking out for her. I don't think I ever looked at that. I didn't realize those were Uncle Ben's old things. That's pretty cool, though. I could write these. Write what? Talk about the news? I'm not sure what that guy's referring to. 
I'm ready to talk to you guys. We could talk to him again, but I don't think I have anything to say this time. Somebody said something about asking their parents for help, but I get the I get the feeling. I think I don't know if there's that many uh, sleeping bags on the floor besides this guy, and then maybe like one or two others. So it looks like most people actually do have a bed. I mean, I think some people have sleeping bags just to have them, but. I think most people actually manage a little bed. And this guy's got a cool little setup with a little closet, even. Nice. These guys are watching TV. Hey, Peter. What's up? Just dropping in. I'm trying to see if there's any more sleeping bags on the floor besides just that one guy. I think I see one over here. Good to see you. Yeah, one over here. Okay. Yeah, I guess a lot of these people just have actual beds, and there's only a couple that they don't have room for. Despite the fact that they have, uh, you know, stuff everywhere. And then there's stuff off to the side here. Not that it matters, but it's here. Think positive, opportunity comes. It's a neat little slogan. Doesn't pay much, but a kick's a gig. Hey, if you got work, you got work. Yeah, it's a pretty extensive little homeless shelter here. Recovery, time, objective. I don't I don't think I even knew this little counseling area was here, but I don't think I've ever actually explored too much of this area because well, I never really cared that much. Everyone feels hopeless at some point. Helps to know there's somebody willing to listen. It does. Die craft. I'm assuming that's German for something, but I'm not sure what. So, unless somebody really hates cheese. All right, let's go up here real fast, and then we'll explore the other side in a minute. Uh, yeah, I think there's less homeless people up here, so I think this is like the cafeteria at the moment. Yeah, or something. Oh, there's the cafeteria. And there's Aunt May right there. The uh, lady counting the boxes. She'll be counting those for a while. Because it might take me a while to get to her. Okay, apparently there's not as much up here as I was thinking. I was thinking there might be another... Oh, there's a laundry room. That's very helpful. It's probably cheaper than where I have to go to do my laundry. How are you guys doing over here? I wouldn't fight crime, I'll tell you that. I'd be a TV star. Uh, I'd be a pro wrestler. <laughs> Best gimmick ever. I think we've already tried that, and uh, it kind of didn't work out for us. We may or may not, we may or may not have lost an uncle in that particular gig. So if you want to try it out, go for it, but don't expect the best results. All right. Uh, I think we have a little bit more upstairs, a little bit more upstairs to explore, but I think we're mostly good. I want to see if there's anything on the part up here that I didn't check out because I think there was. Yeah, this is Aunt May's office right here, so we can. We'll, we'll be coming here later, but I don't usually check it before now, or before we come here later. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Also, elephants too. They would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. Not so fast. Something. An artist. I can't. I can't read what it's saying on the uh, Spider-Man picture on the right there. But whatever. Hey, this is better than what I could draw. That's for damn sure. But I'm sure it looks good to me. And hey, look, there's actual pictures. Wish everybody I wonder, had a mom like me. I wonder if these the are just like pictures of a. Uh, Random people to look like the family here. Or if they're actually like CGI. Could be either one. Man, was I ever a dork. Peter, you were a champion. And don't uh, don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, you were rocking that tie in, face. you know, fifth grade. <laughs> people people might have thought you were rich. And then you severely disabused them of that notion rather quickly. I don't know if there's anything here to look at. I was thinking we might be able to look at those uh, 
papers, but now I guess it's Uncle Ben. Anything else? No. I feel like we could look at the coffee mug, but I don't think it makes any... No, it doesn't... It, it just looked kind of shiny for some reason. Oh, well. Alright, so that's everything over here. And then... I think that's actually everything up here. Okay, cool. So we managed to actually explore this place, which I, I don't think I've done before. I just went straight to, you know, where it tells me to go. But why not try looking around every once in a while? Alright, so oh, this is the kitchen where we're going to be every once in a while, but not right now. And this guy right here, this is Mr. Lee. He's uh, in charge of the party. We're going to meet him in about six seconds. Uh, assuming I can figure out how to get back to where I'm going. Oh, I guess I couldn't talk to him from the other direction. That's kind of weird, but whatever. It's a pretty extensive little kitchen here. Mark, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, I just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is. The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh, Peter, what is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, mate, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone, you help everyone. <laughs> uh, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Ah, uh, Mr. Lee's a good dude. Should check it outside. I don't know if anything changes in here, like dialogue-wise, but I'm assuming not. Unless this guy's still dying. No, no, he's still getting beat, but he's not gonna admit it. Is this the girl we sent over? It is. Peter. Your aunt's been showing off baby pictures. Gloria, I'm new here. Spider-Man turned me on to this place. Oh, right. I mean, great. Uh, how do you like it? They're good people. I might stick around for a little while. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Huh. So she does end up here. I don't know if she, like, sticks around the whole game or not, because, again, I don't think I've ever noticed her actually showing up. But that's pretty neat. And, of course, Peter can't be like, hey, I sent you over here. That's just not something uh, that's going to work. And I guess this is, like, the application for living here, or maybe this is where they help them get jobs and stuff. Let's see. FEAST stands for Food Emergency and Shelter Training. Okay, cool. And then here's the donation center, which we glossed over. I think it's mainly, like, food and stuff. Thank you for your support. Donation table. Ginger snaps. Uh, 
Luca something corn. Harvesters. Popcorn. Just generic brand. That actually just says eat me on the uh, the canned tuna right there. And Swilco, everyone's favorite soft drink, because why not? Neat. All right, let's get out of here and see what they want us to do now. I think we'll probably end up doing a side mission over at the Good Doctor's Place if we need to go over there, because why not? Maybe do a couple episodes of main missions before we get back to side stuff. Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closet. Ew, this mission. Uh, let's see, it's over here. Uh. Well, that, that has two fist hideouts. I think, again, we're going to wait a little while to actually start doing that, though. Or I think we're just going to go main missions for a little while and then do more side stuff once we unlock more abilities and whatnot. And that sounds good to me. If we run into any, like, uh, I think we'll unlock the uh, towers while we're there. And if we run into anything directly on the way, we'll take care of that. Or maybe some uh, thug missions if we need to. But for now, yeah, let's just head over. I lost track of you at the party. Yeah, I, uh, I had to get to the lab. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too. I was gonna say something before. Yeah, make called and I forgot. Uh, I don't remember. Oh. Well. Uh. <clears throat> progressing through the story missions a little bit should unlock the ability to do more side stuff uh, which means you know side stuff will be you know even longer but uh, at the same time we'll be able to grab more different types of tokens for upgrading stuff and unlocking stuff that'd be real nice Yuri, sit quietly better find a back way in all right uh let's see ah, sorry I scratched my eye um did I yeah we could go through the, for these but these, this is right on the edge so I'm not gonna worry about it yet okay we're good Come on in. There you go. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Got to do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. Oh, they're finding teaching is this. Oh, you have to aim at that spot. I'm pressing the button, game. Yeah, I guess this. Is, I guess this is the mission that teaches you about luring enemies with your uh, web shot there. They always look so cozy, webbed up like that. They're so cozy. As long as you don't like cover their mouth too hard so they can breathe, you know, they should be good. I should web him from above. I don't think anybody's ever gonna find that guy. 
Whoa, careful. Unless the webbing actually dissolves. Stealth take down. Okay, here we go. You can be reasonably quick about it, too. And I went the wrong way. I meant to do the square button. Or the... Yeah, I meant to do the square button, but I pressed the uh, the not square button, and it didn't work out as well as I was hoping. There you go. Oh well. Can we look at this stuff or no? We'll have a chance to look at some stuff like this eventually, but not quite at the moment. For now, let's just get back up here and get up here. My patience wears thin. Someone else is here. I swear. They must have the files. If they're here, where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Move it, Pete. Bad guys are getting ready to be bad. Yeah, but I'm checking out the action. Yo, Kyla. Enemies of the danger icons are caused to be detected by nearby enemies if they are attacked. You can lure enemies by webbing nearby surfaces to cause a distraction. Apparently, they want this. They want us to do this exactly by the book here. And web strike is a little louder, but you know, as long as nobody's around, you'll still get away with it. Hey, what is that? It looks like a camera. Better than the one that we found, that's for sure. This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break in until a few minutes ago. Uh huh? Let me explain. And this is this version's, or this game's version of MJ, Mary Jane. I don't know if they actually ever call her Mary Jane, I think everyone just calls her MJ. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. That chick fell for the oldest trick in the book. But yeah, this is uh, MJ, Mary Jane Watson. This, this version of the character isn't my particular most favorite, but she's not bad, that's for sure. Just, eh, I like other versions better. So, anyways, uh, there's going to be several sections throughout the game where you play as MJ here, and they're basically stealth sections. Uh... For this first one, it's less of a stealth section at first and more just kind of walking around. But later ones are basically 99.9% .9 stealthy stuff. So some people really like it, the, these missions. Some people really don't. I'm basically eh about them. I deal with them. I uh, get them over with. And I ignore them until next playthrough pretty much. I think there's like five or six sections with her like this. But at least we can get some uh, cool stuff like this. Bedfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. Dude had no self-awareness. 
Also, he would never fit in that. Like, maybe his foot would, and that's about it. Because uh, he's a big dude, and that's a small uh, suit of armor. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can see, you can look at plenty of cool little museum pieces here in Fisk's private auction house. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions. Being willing to say, yeah... That was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be, at least. Oh, and obviously uh, MJ is 100% aware of the fact that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. So, no relationship uh, quibbles about that and, you know, the secret identity thing, identity thing in this game. Uh, even though they do have other issues with, you know, him being Spider-Man and her not being a hero. But we'll get into those eventually. And you can still dash with her, so R2. Fisk cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. I can't really imagine Fisk using a katana, but okay. Hmm. Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? I have no idea who Simcaria is. Not in the slightest. Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. Well, you're not wrong. Except for the part where you are. But at the same time, you're not wrong. when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. I'm kind of curious exactly how rich Wilson Fisk is, because, like, yeah, he's rich, but I don't think he's, like, Tony Stark rich or anything like that. I think he's more of a millionaire instead of a billionaire. At least that's how I always assumed it. I could be wrong, though. Probably am. Roseman's icon, the Wilson Fisk collection. Yeah, uh, I, a couple playthroughs that I've seen with uh, people playing, uh, they really like this chick's ass for some reason. I guess she has a nice ass. and I'm not really an ass man, so I don't really pay that much attention, but I've seen at least like three YouTubers be like, damn, she has a nice ass, or look at that badonka donk, and I'm just like, I don't see it, but okay. Maybe you guys will notice it. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. That is a pretty cool little mural right there. I do like that one. And I don't think we have a whole lot else to explore except for this. Kyoto. So beautiful. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. But life and work are here. You and everyone else, sister. You and everyone else. But sadly, that's not the way the real world works. Unless you're really, really hot for some reason and Instagram likes you. I still don't get that whole Instagram influ influencer thing. But hey, apparently they're surviving off their good looks. So good for them, I guess. What did Fizz call this? Vanessa? Oh, the Daredevil TV show. That was fucking beautiful. And Vanessa wasn't too shabby herself. I mean, she's not, like, the hottest woman ever, but she's pretty fucking decent. So, you know, I like it. Plus, she was a good character in general. I always hated this cane. So tacky. I love that cane. It's beautiful. What are you talking about? It's got the diamond on the top and everything? That cane is awesome. Let's see, I think we are. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Give me a few hours, lady. Ah, here we go. Brought hidden crimes to light. We got an old school investigative journalist over here. I like her. I'm surprised this hasn't become like a meme or something with the way her hands are, you know, pointed off to the side and she's looking off to the other direction. 
I could totally be like, uh, hey, look over here, look what I'm doing, or, you know, if I had this or whatever. But then again, they already have that with the, uh, <clears throat> the Fairly Odd Parents one. So, um, I guess this, oh, this, I don't think I've ever actually come over here. I haven't actually been over here and looked at this little private auction area. I just realized I haven't actually fully explored a lot of the areas of the game. Like, I'll go through, like, the bare minimum and go through it, but I never actually, like, came over here and looked at this stuff or fully looked at the feast. I mean, I looked at a fair amount of feast, but I've definitely never come over here to the auction center and looked at the little podium and stuff. Huh. They would love this. I gotta admit, it I miss It probably my... only cost about, you know, my entire life salary. <laughs> How much am I bid for this collection of villainy and deceit, starting at 10,000 broken lives and dreams, 10,000 going once? Bicon. Or, no, Icon. I thought, that, I thought the thing in the front was a B. Heard from the underworld, huh? Super tempted to ring this guy. Uncle Ben wakes up. Why are you why are you disturbing my nap, youngins? That's really cool. I've never been over here, but that's pretty cool. Neat. Okay, cool. We've explored everything, I think. And if I missed anything, well, I've definitely explored it more than I have before. Let's just put it that way. Let's get started. Starting with the prize. A one-of-a-kind Kakemon Baku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now, this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Oh, my bad. I thought the earlier photo was the one he wanted. Please get my good side. Stand right there. I did. Oh, stand. Oh, I gotta stand right Are over here. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in. Damn it. Wait here, please. Hey, now you guys can look at that picture and decide if she has the ass that everyone says she does or not. Again, I don't really see it, because I don't really care, but, you know, possible. Can't go in now. She'll see me. Oh. I forget what we're supposed to do here. Not while she's in there. What? Okay. Um, just head out this way, I guess. Wait, I recognize that statue. Oh, that's right. Gotta get a photo. That... Shh, got it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. All right, I gotta go pee because you know, what better way to pretend like I'm leaving? Huh? 
Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean? Remember when I said this is going to turn into a stealth mission? When people are suspicious, a question mark will appear, and then they will investigate. If you see the exclamation, then you have been spotted. Schedule. Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? And don't forget, you can still dash with R2 while you're stealthing, so... That's the best way to do things here. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. And there we go. He told Luckily, me everyone in this case. game has the uh, situa situational awareness of a gopher, so... Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? And by gopher, I mean actual golf ball. I don't know how I said gopher, but, you know. Yeah, everyone in here is as aware as, like, nothing, here. pretty much. They're basically dead. Their senses don't even exist. So, yeah, a lot of the stealth, se stealth sections do come out reasonably easy because... You can literally walk directly next to them, and as long as you're not partially in front of them, they will say, hey, nothing's happening. But it looks different. Okay. So, the hand's up, the head's turned around. Hmm. Here's another He's pose. Something. Okay, so, hand up. Or right hand up, head to the left, left hand down, holding an object. Okay. Wait, there's also that one right there, but I don't think we can look at this one, can we? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that one has the uh, right hand down and the left hand up, and the head at the other side, but let's try this one right here. I think that'll work. No? We have to check you first. I already checked you. She certainly is cozy with Fisk. Can I do this? Game. Why? I already checked all this stuff. What do you want? Okay. Recheck this again. Something's in one of his hands. What is that? I think that's one of these over here, but I should be able to interact with the statue here. No. Why can't... Game. What is your problem? I feel like it's not letting me interact with what I need to interact with here. And I'm Kinda trying to figure out why. You can't open that. I already looked at both of these. Statue can move. Oh. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Huh. He's I forgot there was stuff on the back here. But that should be enough for me to go fiddle. Yeah, there we go. Maybe these pieces move. All right. So let's go ahead and move stuff like move you up. I think we can move you up as well. Close the mouth. Turn the head that way. Put nice. you down. So close. But a piece and I is think missing. we're only missing. Yeah. I think we're missing one of these things right here. I've seen these before. These all look pretty cool. I like these. Uh, sadly, this little boring one right here is the correct choice. Frankly, I'd want it to be like the ball or something, or this cool little like egg beater type thing, but 
or this thing right here. But no, it's this little spiked pole that we need. So take that. And I think this is the right way to do this, but I could be mistaken because it's there we go. Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's What the Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In, 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 in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. So is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Yes, all right, of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start clearing these guys instead of, you know, falling down like I, okay, Pete, I do. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fitz was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shakes Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Sleep it off. There you go. You can't just automatically work these guys and start fighting go. that way, but... Do it the fun way. You know, why not? Uh, let's see, anybody? Okay, that guy's right there, so we need to get him right about over here. If we can. And then... Gotta stay silent. Huh? You literally didn't see that coming. Good night. Let's see... Again, we could also just start meleeing these dudes, but might as well do this the easy way. I think we're safe right here. I really like the perch takedown where he clunks their head against the uh Ah, they're right there. Yeah. Pong. That's all of them. Alright, so you guys were all taken care of, and now we just got those guys out there, which I think we have to physically assault. Let's take care of these idiots. And I don't think Fist is going to mind his, you know, uh, priceless works of art being messed up because, well, he's in jail and it's just not going to work out for him. Oh, uh, that kind of hurt. Uh, can I get one of you guys on the. Uh, there you go. Uh, except that didn't actually put you where I wanted you to. I wanted you on the wall, but. Oh, well. You know what I mean? Let's do this. And throw you somewhere. There you go. Uh, let's see. I want to get one of you guys like on the wall, but it's not working. As well as I'd like. There you go. Yeah, 
Okay, you're dead. If I did, I mean knocked out. Cool. Let's grab your. There you go. Okay, cool. Neat. You guys are taken care of. And this guy had to do his cool little entrance because, uh, you know, why not? I think with this guy, you can't uh, attack him head on until you, like, dodge under him or throw something at him. So he's kind of like just a regular weapon dude or, you know, like a brute kind of, except he's. He can still be taken down by a finisher. There you go. But he's still pretty strong, so you want to watch out for that. Uh, oh, you're still alive. Oh, actually, you guys are all still alive. Uh, you know what? Here, this should work out pretty good for you. Ah, beautiful. Anybody else? Oh, uh, no, you're not alive. Oh, you're way the fuck over there. Come on, dude. Enemies are usually pretty good about not getting stuck in weird spots, but it does happen every once in a while. Check. Antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw. For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That. I don't. What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix. <laughs> like the last six months never happened. I'll be honest, I forgot this mission was directly after the uh, the feast one. Mix become Italian. No idea, but I'm still glad to make these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the bugle? Mm. Well, yeah, well, I just got an all caps text from Robbie about my so called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So. Creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's how's it going with you? Did did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost oh, sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A well, lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but... Is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things too, like uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. I love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Well, maybe 
his eventual favorites, but I'm pretty sure Peter started off with uh, Gwen Stacy, but still. Yeah, nice little cameo from the main man himself right there. What's up? Hey, man. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner we with should. my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Well, after dealing with MJ, we'll worry about uh, Shocker next episode. Uh, let's see, how many skill points do we have? Just the one? Uh, yeah, let's hold off on it for now. But yeah, we'll, we'll worry about Shocker next episode. So yeah, that was our little introduction to Mary Jane Watson. And she's pretty cool for the most part. Again, there's a couple things about this particular version that I'm not as fond of as some of the other ones. Uh, but for the most part, eh, she's okay. It's not too bad. I don't like her design as much as some of the other Mary Janes in media, but... Peter, Again, it's not I the worst. Just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your just not the best friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grand committee stops by again, don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. All right. Uh, wait around for ten seconds to make sure nobody else calls. Okay, I thought I thought MJ might call. She might call when we get to the other mission there. But there we go. We are finished with a couple main story missions. We're gonna do a couple more next episode. Uh, honestly, I was thinking that the uh, one that we were on was a little shorter. But oh well. I'm not Sherman's way the fuck down there. I thought they gave you fast travel a little faster than this, but I guess not. Oh well. But either way, next episode we'll take care of all that other stuff. Uh, main missions. Use some, use some of the uh, suit gadget skill stuff. You know, do all the boring stuff. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time where we go after Shocker. Thanks for watching and have a good night.